Okay, um, so good morning po. Um, we are the third commissioned research to do a rapid scan of typologies of business models for inclusive mobility. So basically po, um, these are um, concrete examples that are existing or emerging within the transport and inclusive mobility sector. Um, na explain na po yung framework a while ago and then um, yung research question that was posed to us is to look to identify inclusive mobility business innovations and approaches that mostly effectively benefit the poor and the vulnerable, uh, to look at the barriers and enablers, to look at policies and regulations that somehow affect these barriers and enablers, and to also identify how they can be disseminated and replicated uh, to basically improve the um, accessibility, the mobility of the poor and the vulnerable sector. Um, ito po yung um, na-create, I'm sorry. Next. Yeah. Uh, this is the concept of inclusive mobility that we were able to formulate for the Philippines. So ito po yung features na hinahanap natin for inclusive mobility. So for instance, a transport system that works for the poor and the vulnerable, a walkable, bikeable, accessible city, moving people and not vehicles, uh, mobility with safety and civility, clean air, clean streets, clean vehicles, facilities, uh, planning and communicating better, travel better and traveling less. Uh, of course, information sharing to increase connectivity and uh, accessibility. Uh, very important to make neighborhoods more accessible to the rest of the city. And the last two would be the changing the mindset and behavior, which is also very important. Uh, the authorities as well as the other uh, stakeholders, so civil society organizations, academe, so all that are affected by the mobility challenges. And of course, mobility of all, by all and for all. So ito po yung finormulate namin. And we're also looking at this framework for, for analyzing the inclusive mobility business model. So ito po yung mga tinitignan namin. Uh, Surrounding the inclusive mobility business models that we were able to look at, uh, meaning focus on travel and transport-related options that benefit the poor and the vulnerable, we look at, for instance, um, uh, how it increases income, because there's income component or livelihood component usually on transport, uh, transport services, uh, improving decent work, gender equity and equality, environmental sustainability, Education, meaning knowledge, sharing, information, accessibility, and of course, human security uh, and the well-being, uh, human security, well-being, and vulnerability reduction. For, so, for instance, people with uh, disability, they're not um, exposed to risks when they travel or when they move from point A to point B. Okay, so ito po yung mga, these are what we look at in terms of the typologies of uh, transport-related services in Metro Manila. So we look at transport products or services, uh, transport of vehicles, uh, let's say, for instance, fuel, refueling, resupply, repair, uh, facilities, maintenance. Next. Uh, also, we looked at transport-enabled products or services through delivery services, for instance. Uh, and of course, uh, very prominent po yung transport-enabled livelihood. Uh, tr transport facilitation product or service. Transport reduction product or service. Uh, okay. Now, ito po yung uh, transport-related business models that benefit the poor and vulnerable. So we look at uh, business interventions, which refer to private and public intervention that aim to produce profits for economic development and business interventions that are transport-related, which refers to profit-making initiatives that focus on transporting people, uh, goods, and services. Next. Uh, we also look at transport-related business models that are inclusive, very important to highlight, which refers to models that address the needs of the mobility challenge and the poor by facilitating their uh, movement from one place to another. Next po. And then we're also looking at uh, participation of these people, let's say those who are benefiting from the livelihood options uh, of the business. So participation in the process of uh, profit-making and benefits of profit-making 
especially to the poor who are referred here to us, those who, ha who are far less economic and social, far less in terms of economic and social uh, resources and opportunities in life. And then, access to economic, social, environmental, social, uh, environmental, cultural, physical, physical goods and services that contribute to the attainment of their human development. And then we also look at uh, transport-related business models that contribute to environmental management, which is also an issue um, with the transport and mobility sector. Now, um, we did a thorough scan and scope of the um, existing and emerging uh, examples of innovations in within Metro Manila. Yung ipapresent ko po, mga, hindi po to lahat, uh, mga examples lang po to, kasi it will take more than... Uh, 15 minutes for me to present everything. So, um, for instance, we look at uh, clean fuel. Basically, it just it does not just only target um, provision of clean uh, clean energy or clean fuel, but there are also specific benefits. Uh, for instance, uh, meron silang customer loyalty program for taxi driver by providing the services such as free shower room, uh, canteen yung mga reward system so that they establish customer loyalty while at the same time ensuring that the transport uh, sector is able to get access to cleaner, uh, cleaner fuel. And then we also looked at um, Araneta Center and how they tried to integrate the terminal hubs, the commercial system. So um, basically providing people um, access to public, uh, public transportation uh, and at the same time, access to commercial goods and services. So, may integration po. Parang compact po yung the way the, um, the center was uh, designed and built. And then, we also looked at Peping Pasada Shell. Uh, similarly, they also have this uh, customer loyalty program, which uh, basically offers uh, points. Pagka, let's say, for instance, a minimum of three liter, liters for the tricycle driver, you earn points. So, may point system para ma-establish yung customer loyalty. And then, they get discounts from uh, the fuel. And they also have, um, let's say, uh, yearly promos for their loyal customers. Basically, helping um, the drivers uh, with their cost structure dun sa transportation nila. Kasi, nagiging problem po yung increasing prices of um, fuel then. And then uh, we also look at um, other uh, business innovations such as yung Julie's Mobile Bake Shop. So making uh, cheap bread accessible to all and at the same time providing livelihood to, uh, to the yung, yung nagpapadyak po. So uh, you don't have to go to the bake shop if, if it's already uh, roving around your uh, your vicinity. And then, we also have the smart communication, yung, uh, yung mga promos and discounts na binibigay ng smart, like yung, yung uh, pass load, pera padala, wherein you don't have to physically go to, let's say, a bayad center or to go to a store. You can do it uh, at the tip of your fingers. And then we also have this my, uh, Nestle Micro Distributorship Program, wherein um, basically they try to expand uh, their reach beyond barangays, and they do not just limit themselves anymore to big grocery stores. Uh, it provides livelihoods to thousands of unemployed citizens. Uh, Meron din pong um, yun, accessibility to their uh, goods and services. Then, so you don't have to go to big grocery stores if, let's say, you're um, you're living far away and you have challenges in your uh, transportation services. And then similarly, uh, yung ice cream and uh, Nestle professional programs nila, uh, connected din po dun sa micro distributor, distributorship program that they recently um, came up with. Um, yung innovations then several innovations with the light railway uh, transit. For instance, uh, yung mga uh, priority seating for the elderly, the pregnant women, the disabled. Uh, mas nakikita natin yung evidence in terms of making the facilities more accessible by creating mga uh, ramps and yung mga parang, uh, let's say for the blind and the, the, the disabled, so yung accessibility nila mas, uh, mas 
they try to design and make it fit for the needs of the people with disability, the, the pregnant women, and the elderly. And of course, yung mga uh, stored value nila na may mga libreng, uh, may libreng free ride in excess of those X amount of yung mga stored value. So, may income component, but at the same time, it benefits the, uh, the passengers. And then, of course, yung Roro, uh, mas madali na mag-transport ng goods and services and cheaper than the regular cargo and shipping. So, you can go around the country through Roro and it's cheaper, uh, it's more accessible. And let's say you can uh, take a bus, a Roro bus, and then i, ala, i sasakay siya sa parang barge and then you can hop on and hop off from one island to another. And we also looked at Globe Banco, which tries to uh, provide uh, uh, accessibility to banking and financing services for, for the poor sector, especially those in the rural area. So, um, wala na silang katulad ng bigger commercial banks that require, let's say, 300,000 minimum uh, maintaining balance or deposit. So, um, you yung mga sari-sari stores and small convenience stores, meron din silang nagigain na um, profit benefit out of it by being a partner of Globe Banco. And at the same time, for the poor, they have access to uh, basic uh, financing services. Um, some reflection points po that we were able to uh, look at. Um, very prominent po dun sa lahat ng examples na nakita namin, evident po na very transport-oriented pa po talaga yung lumalabas sa so, nakuha namin mga examples and very focused pa siya on livelihood. Although may nag emerge na on other aspects like yung human security, increase in well-being, environmental, uh, improved environmental management, pero nangibabaw pa rin po yung livelihood uh, component dun sa nakita namin mga examples. And essentially, um, based, uh, we've identify that inclusive mobility in Metro Manila refers to mobility for people and for goods and services. And inclu inclusivity also takes another form by sharing the benefits of revenue, health, sanitation, materials, uh, securing of employment, and social protection uh, incentives. And then, uh, inclusive mobility in terms of uh, shared value and benefits, addressing human development concerns are more attached to the transfer of goods and services. And these benefits uh, from the use of transport related services, whether it be uh, vehicles, fuel, telecommunications, uh, captures more appropriately the other aspect of the innovative inclusive business model related to transport. So, yung po yung sinasabi ko kanina. And then also, um, we've also realized that uh, Metro Manila does not have a lot of better transport services for moving people who are mobility challenged. And then finally, um, there are opportunities for inclusive transport for those who have uh, less resources but are not as mobility challenged as the elderly and persons with disabilities. There, it's still more apparent in transport services like pedicabs, jeepneys, provincial buses and terminals. So, transport geared pa rin siya. Like, but the other, like yung mga financial services, other services in terms of access to goods and uh, basic human needs. Uh, kailangan pa po talaga ng uh, masusing pag-aaral and parang effort both sa government, sa privad, privadong sector, sa civil society and academia to work together para makakam up po tayo ng uh, more uh, inclusive mobility models na hindi lang basta transport lang yung ina-address and very livelihood-centric. So, thank you po.